My name is Bernd Ullmann, I'm the Analog Computer Evangelist and Anabrit has set out to change the world of computing as we know it today. I'm working on analog computers for the last 30 years and now I found the perfect team consisting of an aerospace engineer, quantum physicist and microelectronics professional. Together we are Anabrit and we are about to introduce analog computing into the world of high performance computing which will change the world forever. One of the main advantages of an analog computer is the fact that all of its computing elements work in parallel. This is in stark contrast to a digital machine which has to execute a program in a step-by-step -step fashion. So an analog computer exhibits much higher computational power than a digital computer for certain problem areas. I've been fascinated with analog computing since my teenage years and this fascination has led me to study mathematics and to dive deeper into the field of analog computation. Analog computers are ideally suited for applications in high-performance computing, artificial intelligence, medical implants, Monte Carlo simulations in the financial field, every field where high computing power is of utmost importance. Digital computers won the race in the 1980s. And today, much of Earth electrical energy is used in large computing centers for applications in the fields of artificial intelligence for mining bitcoins and other things. We are about to change this with modern, highly integrated analog computers which will enable computer centers to deliver much more computing power with much less energy requirements. As of now, we are working with modern implementations of classical analog computers which are still programmed manually, but our goal is to shrink all of these elements to the size of a fingernail chip with hundreds or thousands of computing elements which will deliver vast amounts of computational power with next to no energy required. We have forgotten that there are more ways to solve a problem. The digital monoculture has hampered our view that there are more ways to solve a single problem than only the algorithmic approach. The world is analog, the world is not binary. Data is not binary, not a sequence of zeros and ones. Data is in analog form in the real world. So an analog computer is ideally adapted to interface with the real world. Analog computers on chip can be built much cheaper than digital computers because they require much less transistor functions on a chip than their digital counterparts. There will never be enough computing power to satisfy the demands of the world. Computer centers cannot grow any larger. They are already using megawatts of power. We need to reduce this power bill to reduce the CO2 footprint. Analog computers are much more energy efficient than digital computers, which is due to the fact that they represent values not as sequences of zeros and ones, but as analog voltages or currents. Digital computers are hitting basic physical boundaries by now. Computing elements cannot be shrunk much more than today and there is no way to spend even more energy on energy-hungry CPU chips than today. Analog computing has the chance to change the world of computing as we know it. It allows us to tackle the most demanding applications of the 21st century, including artificial intelligence, life sciences and high-performance computing. Analog computing will pave the path to the future.